everybody. Welcome to Barnes Takeout. I'm Robin Craren, the Collections Research Coordinator at the Barnes Foundation. Today I'm going to talk to you about this small watercolor here by a Pennsylvania German artist um, on the south wall of room 15. So this watercolor was made by Johann Adam Eyer. He was a native to Bucks County and born in 1755, but he came from um, German immigrants. Uh, or his parents were German Im immigrants, rather. He primarily worked as a teacher and a schoolmaster in various schools in the area uh, throughout his life. He was a very prolific artist of a type of artwork known as fracture art, which this is an example of. Um, and I'll touch a little bit on that after I talk a bit about schools. So schools at this time, uh, it was prior to the passage of the Free Public School Act in 1834. Um, children were often educated not in public schools, but in schools affiliated with church membership. So teacher, or, sorry, parents were actually enrolling their students, uh, choosing to enroll their students in these schools. Uh, and they taught classes in writing, reading, grammar, arithmetic, and of course, religious instruction, since they were religious schools. Um, in the areas where Pennsylvania Germans lived, the classes were often taught in German, uh, which is why we see this writing down here is actually in German, not in English. Um, the teachers would give children for Schriften, which is a German word, which basically means writing sample, and that was to help them learn to write. And so the models that they would uh, give to them for writing for writing exercises would often incorporate drawn or painted um, motifs like this, and the school teachers were actually the ones making them. They were particularly popular with Mennonites and Schwenkfelders, um, and the interiors of them were usually, uh, usually consisted of biblical hymns and verses. This watercolor um, was made in 1784, as you see at the bottom, so it's quite an old piece, and it's actually a cover for a writing sample that was uh, made by Iyer, the artist, for one of his students. Um, there are a few things about this piece which are very common with his work, and I'll point them out. Uh, these quills right here, right over here, held by a hand, and then, then on the other side, the quills resting in an ink pot. This heart-shaped design, although could be found on other with other artists, he often used that. And then these two birds right here facing each other, this pair of birds. Those are common uh, motifs that he used in his in his work. But these uh, kind this kind of art could also have um, angels blowing trumpets or men in colonial dress, but they were often very richly decorated with um, vibrant colors of reds and blues and greens. As you see here, red is really the dominant the dominant color. Um, we also see some of these strange looking flowers right here and then tulips and then this kind of like ivy like uh, stems right here and these two eagles right here as well. So some of these motifs were also could also be seen on other types of Pennsylvania German art. It was very common with them to repeat a lot of the same motifs and themes. So tulips are very popular as are hearts and birds. You uh, may also see a lot of these tulips and some of these other designs on some other Pennsylvania German art in the collection at the Barnes. Um, if you take a look at some of the blanket chests the next time you're here, uh, stuff a little bit closer to the ground, you'll definitely notice some that have hearts on them and definitely some with tulips. They're, it's a very, very popular, um, very popular motif. So it's an interesting, uh, you can see the similarities, the way that they were using the same, uh, these same motifs, but also that fracture artists may have been decorating some of those, um, some of those blanket chests as well. So <clears throat> let's look at this inscription down here so you can see, so we can see a little bit more about who this person may have been. So it's in German, like I said, but I'll read it to you in English. This little book of writing models belongs to Elisabetta Leitermann, pupil of writing in the Deep Friends School, 
written out for her the 16th of December, Anno Domini, 1784. So she went to the Deep Run School, which was in Bucks County, and that was a Mennonite school. And that was uh, one of the schools with uh, that Johann Adam Eyer taught at. So we know it's from 1784. We don't know how old she was, but um, we what we can infer um, by some, about something like this is that they probably would she probably would have held on to it for quite a while um, because it had a it had a very uh, important function and that was to teach her how to write. Um, so these these really functional objects were decorated with these really beautiful decorations, and you see that also in furniture. These pieces were very functional. The blanket chests where people could sit on them. They were meant to be they for things to be stored in them, to be furniture, but they also had they were also were beautiful and um, showing the same kinds of uh, the same kind of decoration as you see here. Um, so images like this um, can also be seen throughout the collection. Um, we have some exa other examples of fracture art as well. Um, fracture can also be seen in things like uh, baptismal certificates or birth certificates um, or something that doesn't have writing on it. You can also see uh, beautifully decorated watercolors. So I hope the next time that you come to the barn, which I, I hope will be soon, you can take a little bit of a closer look at something like this and uh, look for others in the collection and look for more of these um, different motifs, these uh, designs right here in other artwork in the collection. Um, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed listening and I hope you um, subscribe to our channel to hear more of these. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm Tom Collins, Neubauer Family Executive Director of the Barnes Foundation. I hope you enjoyed Barnes Takeout. Subscribe and make sure your post notifications are on to get daily servings of art. Thanks for watching and for your support of the Barnes Foundation.